One area that will look new to Padres fans this season is the infield. The Padres acquired three new infielders this offseason, first baseman Eric Hosmer, third baseman Chase Headley, and shortstop Freddie Galvis. Now, even though all three are new to the Padres or returning to the Padres, they're certainly not new to baseball. They're all veterans. They have plenty of major league experience. And, oh, yeah, there's also those four gold gloves over at first base. Still, all three players are honest that there is a learning curve when it comes to a new infield, and that can only be remedied by by communication and game reps. Here's more from the players on how that's going so far. I think that just happens over time, over repetitions, over games. Uh, it's something you can't really speed that process up of doing. I think it's things that you have to experience and some being positive, some being negative, and you kind of learn from those experiences and, and that's how you gain the trust and that's how you kind of uh, learn the person next to you. So I think we can only uh, simulate that stuff through repetitions, but um, you know, being the veteran type of player and being the veteran leaders that those guys are, we can kind of uh, go over situations that we think that are going to be coming our way instead of experiencing them firsthand and then learning after that that way. Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, I, I think um, you know you have some veterans that have, have played the game for a long time, and we've um, you know you, you've you've played with different players. You learn how to uh, you know kind of adapt quickly to other guys and. Um, you know, I think it's gone pretty well so far, but uh, you know, it's a work in progress. We'll we'll continue to get closer, understand, um, you know, kind of the the relationships as far as where each guy likes to set up, where we like to play, and make sure we're covering the right amount of ground. But uh, you know, I think it's going to be a, a a good group overall, and it's a lot of communication and just understanding. Like guys have, you know, have um, you know comfort zones where they like to be, and you just want to make sure that you. You know, you're reacting to each other, so you're, you know, you're not in one place and another guy's in another place, and you're covering the same ground. So um, you got to really kind of keep that uh, that relationship to know, you know, that you you guys are both in the right spot, and you're not, you know, double covering one area and leaving another area open. Uh, communication. That's all we have to need. Uh, we, all we have to have uh, a lot of communication. We've been talking a lot, and we uh, try to know what what kind of game he 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 want he have in the. Uh, just try to be on the same page. I think that's going to be the big, the big kit for us. Uh, I think it's been good. Uh, just try to know my infielders, try to know the new guys. Uh, I think uh, for us, for everybody, it's something new. But we just try to communicate, try to talk, try to be on the same page. And uh, so far, it's been good. I think in like Chase's case, he's still trying to find his rhythm in the field in spring training. But he's done it for a lot of years. So he's done it well. Uh, I think just playing alongside of Freddie, there's going to be a communication aspect for those two. It just takes time. Hey, the, the big one for me is uh, the six-hole communication, what the shortstop gives to the third baseman. Uh, Ayers can pick baseballs no matter who throws them over there. Uh, but the left side, that communication takes time to get used to that and get acclimated to the guy, especially if you've had the same guy playing shortstop beside you for a while.